You've seen the videos of four artists making fake mon from the same prompt. I've been in a few of those myself, and if you're a fan artist, I bet you've wanted to be invited to participate. Well, I have a prompt for you. Ready? Here's the prompt. I want you to make a Pokemon that matches two of the following Pokedex entries. Number one, these Pokemon make their homes in piles of scrap metal. Number two, when excited, it discharges the energy it has stored in its belly, then lets out a great uproarious laugh. And number three, it's drowsy in daytime, but flies off in the evening in big groups. No one knows where they go. Pick any two of those, you could even do all three if you really wanted to, but you have to use at least two. I love using mismatched Pokedex entries because it forces us to make connections that aren't already there. And I always find it intriguing to see how different people put the same pieces together in unique ways. I'm excited to see what you all come up with, and I've assembled a fantastic group of Pokemon fan artists who will help curate the best of the best from the submissions, which we will share with you after the submission window closes. Now, before you run off to start brainstorming ideas, here are the rules. Number one, absolutely anyone who feels inclined is welcome to submit. I don't care how well-known or talented you are, I want to see your ideas. Number two, you can use any art style or medium. It doesn't have to be the official art style. You could even do pixel art if you wanted to. Number three, you can only submit one design. You can imagine it as part of a line, it doesn't have to be a single stage Pokemon, but you're only submitting one stage. Number four, your drawing needs to be submitted as a transparent PNG of the Pokemon itself only. Don't make a full Pokedex screen. And related, number five, you don't need to provide any stats besides the name, category, and types. All of this is so that we can highlight more Pokemon in the final video. If we had to consider evolutions and moves and abilities, either we would have to highlight fewer designs, or the video would balloon to an unreasonable length. That said, number six, you are free to share your submissions on your own. You don't need to wait until the final video is out. And in that context, you're welcome to share evolutions, base stats, shinies, whatever you want. All I ask is that you link back to this video so that more people can join in on the challenge. And number seven, the deadline, very important. You have six weeks to submit. Submissions will close on November 18 at noon Pacific time. I'll be posting reminders on my social media and in the community tab, but if you want to submit, maybe put it in your calendar. Okay, that's everything. The submission form is linked at the top of the description. If you have any questions, post in the comments and I'll answer them as quickly as I can. Now off you go. You've got a fake mon to design, and so do I. So I'll see you in the next chapter.